In a recent interview, racing legend Tony Stewart made some stunning and angry words about how he would behave if he were in Larson's situation. But that's not all. Stewart also addressed his current involvement with Stuart Haas Racing and how he balances it with other racing tasks. You won't want to miss a single moment of this shocking interview. Tune in now to find out what Tony Stewart had to say. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. Last year, many fans were upset by the fight between Bubba Wallace and Kyle Larson at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Surprisingly, Kyle Larson did not respond against the attacker, Wallace, asking the question, why didn't he fight back? Strangely, Larson did ask this question, but only to Tony Stewart, who used to drive for NASCAR. Stewart talked about the chat he had with Larson after the famous Las Vegas incident in a recent episode of the Dale Jr. Download. He didn't stop there, though. He also sent a strong message to Bubba Wallace about the fight with Larson. Tony Stewart finds out why Kyle Larson didn't fight back. Stewart said on the show, Kyle is not a fighter. I sent Kyle a text message after the Las Vegas incident with Bubba. I said, listen, I know he pushed you once, but when he did it again, that was enough. And if he did that to you a third time, I would beat his ass. I asked, what, what are you doing? He says, man, I've never been in a fight in my life and I didn't want to get my ass kicked in front of all these people. It's like, I get it. Okay then, we'll teach you how to fight though, bud. He said as he finished. Stewart had laughed at Kyle Larson before for not fighting back. Last year, when Tony Stewart saw what happened, he was surprised that Larson didn't get back at Wallace. Apparently taken aback by Larson's calm approach, he went on to comment. He had somebody pushing him, and he didn't get into a fight. But it's important to keep in mind that Larson and Stewart are very different people. Larson is known for keeping his cool when things get tough, but Stewart is the complete opposite. During his time in NASCAR, Stewart was known for getting into fights with other drivers on the track and showing how angry he could be. Because of their different personalities, Stewart may have been confused by Larson's calm response to the tense scenario. But if Stewart told Larson how to stand up for himself in tough situations, it could be helpful. Because of this, Larson might be less likely, in the future, to be upset by people like Wallace. What are your thoughts on Tony Stewart's comments on Kyle Larson and Bubba Wallace? Tell us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button for more updates. Now, let's get on to other shocking statements made by Tony Stewart regarding Stewart Haas Racing. After the 2008 season, Joe Gibbs Racing switched from Chevrolet to Toyota, so Tony Stewart became a driver and owner for Haas CNC Racing, which is now called Stewart Haas Racing. Since 2009, the former NASCAR driver has moved on. Stewart, who is 51 years old, won his third NASCAR Cup Series title in 2011 with the number 14 car. This made him one of the 10 best NASCAR drivers of all time. After that, the co-owner of Stewart Haas Racing retired at the end of the 2016 season and has had a lot of success since then. Stewart owns NASCAR and World of Outlaws teams, the All-Star Circuit of Champions, the Superstar Racing Experience, and Eldora Speedway. He also runs full-time in the NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. Because of all these responsibilities, people are wondering about Stuart Haas Racing. Stuart Haas Racing is at a crossroads because 2014 NASCAR Cup Series winner Kevin Harvick is about to lead the team. The number four car won't have a driver, and the rest of the team, besides Chase Briscoe, is still up in the air. Eric Almarola might quit at the end of the 2023 NASCAR season, even though he said he would do so at the end of the 2022 season. Almarola chose to come back, but he will probably retire soon. Lastly, Ryan Priest is 28th in terms of points, which might not be enough for the company. Some people have said that Stewart's commitments to other parts of racing are to blame for Stuart Haas Racing's problems. Stewart appeared on the podcast hosted by Dale Earnhardt Jr., titled The Dale Jr. Download, where he discussed his connection with Stuart Haas Racing, despite the fact that he does not spend as much time at the track as he did in previous years. All the time, you're like, ah, uh, he doesn't care about NASCAR anymore, he, he doesn't care about sprint car racing anymore. It's the furthest thing from the truth. I love our race teams. I'm still passionate about our race teams. But I get to go race with my wife, Leah Pruitt, on the weekends, so sorry. I may not be at the track on the weekend, but that doesn't mean I don't care about what's going on. It doesn't mean I'm not involved in what's going on. So, what did Tony Stewart say about his plans for 2023 with Stewart Haas Racing? After joining the NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series, it's clear that Stewart has heard people say that he doesn't care about the other types of racing, but he still cares a lot about his race teams. The 51-year-old owner doesn't have a NASCAR team just to put it on his resume and say that he owns a company. If Stewart is going to put money into a racing project, it will be done well, so that it can be effective. Stewart is still a part of Stuart Haas Racing, which is good because the team is having trouble, and it's not clear who will be on it in the coming years. Stewart's other investments of time and money are important, but he is still doing his best to make this one as good as possible. Many people think that Tony Stewart, who has won the NASCAR Cup Series three times, is one of the best drivers in racing history. But in a recent talk with Kenny Wallace, Stewart says that talent doesn't come from God, and gives a reality check about his own struggles. 
People often say that ability comes from God. It means that some people are born with a natural talent for certain things and don't have to work hard to get there. This idea is especially common in racing, where drivers are often thought of as either talented or not. But Tony Stewart thinks the truth is much more complicated than that. He says that he worked at McDonald's and other really bad jobs to pay for his driving hobby. Stewart had to work hard to get to the top of the racing world. He had to do a lot of different jobs to pay for his driving hobby. He says he didn't like working real jobs, but he did them because he knew he had to if he wanted to follow his dream. In a recent interview with Kenny Wallace on The Kenny Conversation, Tony was honest and said, I didn't like real jobs. I worked at McDonald's twice while in school, and right after I graduated, I found a place to settle down. I've had some really bad jobs to get where we are now, but it was still so I could race. I've learned that people don't understand how hard drivers have to work in motorsports. When you talk about car owners and crew guys, it's a lot of work, but it's just as hard on us drivers because we have to think about what we're doing all the time. The talk with Kenny Wallace gives us a look at Tony's life and shows how important hard work is for success. Tony's advice is clear. To be successful, you have to work hard and be committed. There are no easy ways to reach your goals. Last week, Tony Stewart Racing made history by winning two races at the NHRA Four Wide Nationals on the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Tony Stewart, who is in the Hall of Fame, and Matt Hagen both won in front of a packed house. In the NHRA Camping World Drag Racing Series, Andrew Brown won in the Top Fuel, and Dallas Glenn won in Pro Stock. Stewart entered the NHRA for the first time last season in the Top Alcohol Dragster category of the NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. In his fourth race, he won his first race, which was his first win in the NHRA. In the last round, he drove his mobile one dragster and got a time of 5.324 seconds at 269.62 miles per hour. Last year, the legendary racer came second in his first NHRA race, which was the fall race in Las Vegas. This year, he won, adding to his wins in NASCAR, NHRA, and IndyCar. Tony Stewart is a great example of what can happen when you work hard and try your best. Even though he has done well, he stays humble and says that his success is due to his hard work and persistence. His time at McDonald's, where he faced many problems and failures, shows that even the most successful people have to start somewhere and work hard to get to where they want to go. So that's all we've got for you today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.